What is going on guys? This is Miasin and the light is not exactly on my face. So there we go. Yeah, I look a little less ugly now. Haha, <laughs> that's a good one. Anyways, uh, we got a new a lot of new interesting support in Infinite Forbidden for like a bunch of new decks and stuff like that. It's gonna be interesting. So yeah, today I'll be reviewing all of them. But before we go any further, friendly reminder to smash the like and subscribe button. And also, um, hit Mobadak to all my uh, brothers out there. Anyways, the first card is a Cosmo Queen, the Queen of Prayers. This is like the freaking third or fourth Cosmo Queen. Level 8 Dark Spellcaster, same stats as uh, Cosmo Queen. Both effects are once per turn. If a Field Spell card is activated, you can Special Summon this card for your hand defense. Okay, so that affects your own Field Spells and your opponent's Field Spells. You can target one face-up card in the Field Zone, so that's an Ignition effect. It's a Spell Speed 1 effect. It is not a Quick effect and it's not a Trigger effect. Then target this effect based on its controller. If you're targeting your own Field Spell, you destroy it, and then you add a Field Spell with a different name for your deck to your hand. That is Ancient Fairy Dragon. If you're targeting your opponent's Field Spell, you are negating that field spell's effect, and then you are adding a field spell from your deck to your hand. That is not too bad. I don't dislike this card. It's, I mean, it's definitely not bad. You special summon it, and then you either negate something, and then search your own field spell, which, which gets your stuff going. It's also an extender. It's a free plus one going second if your opponent has a field spell. But if your opponent doesn't have one, then it doesn't do much. But at least you can still kind of use it with your own field spell. It never really does nothing. But it's just, if you have to summon it on your opponent's turn, then you're also turning on Triple Tactic Talent the Thrust, which I, I'm not a really big fan of. If it, I think it's better if you're summoning it on your own turn, and then using it on your opponent's field spell. But then, at this point, you already have a field spell, so you would have to play multiple of them in order to make this card good. So it's a little too complicated for no good reason. This card is definitely not trash, though. I think it has a lot of potential, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how I can combo with it. Anyways, the next card is Aiza, the Dragoness of the Ranged Devotion. Okay, level 4 Fire Dragon, so uh, indirect Tenpai Dragon support. If this card is special summoned, <clears throat> okay, sure, you can place one deranged counter on one face of monster upon controls, and it cannot be used as a material free fusion, synchro, excuse, or link summon, uh, sim summon will has that counter. I don't know if this is something that lingers, or it's a continuous effect, like, while this monster is on the field, and your opponent has a monster with a deranged counter, he can't do that. So I'm gonna have to look into that, but if you have the answer, you let me know in the comment section because I'm not 100% sure. Anyways, at the start of the damage step, if this card battles an opponent's monster with a deranged counter, you can destroy that opponent's monster, and if you do, both players take damage equal to its original attack. Also, destroy this card at the end of the battle phase. Okay, yeah, alright, sure. You can only use each effect once per turn. I, I don't really think you need this card for anything. And also, this is only on special summon, not on normal or special, so this is just useless. It's it's really pack failure. Anyways, now we've got Vados, the, dra the Dragon of Endless Darkness. Level 10 Dark Pyro, okay. Uh, materials Vados and 2 plus level 9 or lower Pyro monsters. So I'm really seeing it as a super poly target or a card that's just borderline impossible to summon, really. Unless there's like a brand diffusion that hasn't been announced yet for uh, Ashend, which I don't think there is. So yeah, good luck summoning this. Anyways, it can be destroyed by card effects and your opponent cannot target it with monster effects, but nobody cares because you can still easily out this card with freaking Typhon. So it's so easy or Zeus or whatever. So Th this is just never enough as a class to make a card good. But hopefully the other effects are good. If this card is fusion summoned, you can destroy all spells and traps your opponent controls. Yeah, but it still loses to Imperm, because it can still be targeted by spells and traps, so I'm not a big fan. If it said your opponent cannot target this, this card with card effects, it would have been so much better. Anyways, when your opponent activates a card or effect on, on the field, quick effect, you can send one Ashen, uh, one face-up Ashen card you control to the grave, destroy that card. This is not an Ashen card, so you can't set itself. You're gonna have to send... Oh, I, you can send the field spell and stuff, okay. Uh, but then it doesn't get its effect that, uh, when it's destroyed. Anyways, uh, you can only use this effect of Vados once per turn. It would have been nice if you could negate on top of destroying. Like, negate something, then you, you can also destroy another card on the field. That would have been great. This card has just been nerfed for no good reason. Again, this is just Konami being way too safe uh, with card design. Trying to make them, like, super fair when they're already so shit that they had no business being this bad in the first place. So, yeah, both of these cards are total trash. But, yeah, moving forward into the Tachyon and Galaxy support. This is, I think, going to be the most interesting part so far. Okay, so the first monster is Galaxy Eyes Tachyon Primal, level 8 uh, Light Dragon. But yeah, if a Dragon Exceeds monster is on the field, quick effect, you can special summon this card uh, from your hand to either field. Okay, sure. I mean, it's, it's an extender, I guess, but it's, uh, it's a little hard to summon. If this card is no more special summon, its owner adds one Tachyon Spell or Trap from their deck to the hand. So yeah, you can summon this on your opponent's uh, field, and you still are the one 
that search is because it's a mandatory effect. And then you make your opponent use a monster effect so that you can uh, trigger a triple tactic talent thrust. And also you can summon this card to your opponent's field so that you can one punch your, uh, your opponent, which I also like a lot. So yeah, it's definitely a cool card. When a dragon exceeds monster declares an attack, attach this card on the field to it as a material. Yeah, that's that's a really cool card. Again, another mandatory effect. So then your monster attacks and then your opponent has to use that effect and then you uh, redirect attack directly or something. It's a really cool card, and it can also kind of make you play around impairment stuff. Not really, because by the time you get to summon this, uh, you, you you at least already have to have a Dragon Exceeds monster on the field. Again, my only issue is the requirement for the first effect. Everything else is just fantastic, honestly. So yeah, so far so good. The second card is Tachyon Cloud Dragon, another retrain of a card that we already know. You know, it's a Galaxy Eyes Cloud Dragon Dress. So I think it's a level 1 monster. Anyways, this one's level 4. Mm, yeah, you can only use all 3 effects once per turn. If this card is added to your hand except by drawing it, you can special summon it. Again, you can recycle this back uh, from the graveyard and still trigger its effect. You can tribute this card, special summon one Tachyon monster from your deck or grave except itself. That is really good. Yeah, that is a Lone Fire Blossom, but even better. But to be fair, it does lose the Ghost Bell. So it loses the Ash, Bell, Veiler, everything. And if you special summon a Dragon Exceeds monster, you can target one of them, attach this card to it as a material from the grave. If this uh, was there when the monster was summoned, or had even if not, actually the exact same effect, I believe, as the original Cloud Dragon monster. Uh, just a great card. I, I can never complain about a one-card starter, so <laughs> I will definitely take that. This one right here is Swartz Child Infinity Dragon. Yet again, another retrain of a monster that we already know. Dark Dragon level 8. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck during the turn you activate this card's effect except Dragon Exceeds monsters. I think we're fine with that, but you cannot summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Lord because that is a warrior, I believe, for some odd reason. It's the only Galaxy Exceeds monster that is a warrior, I believe? Hold on a second. Let me just double check, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's just an anomaly. There might be like a machine somewhere. Yeah, Galaxy Destroyer. Everything else seems to be just, yeah, Galaxy Tomahawk. Okay, yeah, some rank fours, actually, Warrior. Yeah, no, most of them are dragons, so you should be fine. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Anyways, if you control no monsters or opponent controls a monster with 2,000 or more attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, special summon one level 8 or light, uh, light or dark dragon monster from your deck in defense. Except itself, but its effects are negated. This is insanity. This is Exorcister Martha. I, it's insane. Uh, this is what, like, the second Martha in a row that we've seen? Hold on a second. Oh, yeah, Gimmick Puppet. Yeah, Bloody Doll. I mean, it's literally the same thing. And it's it's a good effect. Everything about this card is cracked. Yeah, you're definitely playing three of this. This is a one-card starter. doesn't lose the Veiler Imperm. You can immediately summon, I don't know, like a... And also, you, you cheat out the, the Photon Dragon in two seconds, or like Afterglow. And then when you detach Afterglow, you get the special summon Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon from your deck, I think. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, that is insane. Bro, haha. <laughs> Alright, sure. Yeah, this is um definitely one of the best cards I've read in a, in a hot minute. Very, very good. You can literally build dicks. Uh, you, oh my god, you can build decks around this card. You know what? I'm never I'm not even gonna edit this out. It's it's fine. Let's see just how many comments I get uh concerning that. Anyways, Drag Luxion. This is a uh, retrain of uh, Draglubion, or no? Hold on, it might be the it might be the first one. Drag Dragavion, Dragluon. Yeah, not Draglubion. Yeah, because that one's light. Yeah, okay, and and they look similar. Okay, rank eight, blah blah blah. I don't care. You can you only use both effects once per turn. If this card is special summoned from the extra deck, big troll. Uh, oh, never mind. No, no, not never mind. You can add one Galaxy or Tachyon card from your deck to your hand. I love how it said if this card is special summoned from the extra deck and not like if this card is XC summoned. So you can special summon this card from the extra deck by cheating it out without having to like XC summon it, and then it still triggers. But then when you monster reborn it back, it doesn't get a search. Uh, still good though, you can search any Galaxy or Tachyon card, and again, this is a one card combo into that using uh, Afterglow, and then you get to also search and special summon, holy, uh, you can detach two materials from this card, special summon one rank 8 Dragon Xyz monster with 3000 attack from your extra deck by using this card uh, you control as material, then you can attach one Galaxy monster from your extra deck to it as, a, as an additional material, okay, this is treated as an Xyz summon, transfer this, holy shit, okay, these two cards are just like enough to make the Galaxy deck so much better. Hold on, this is not an Infinite Forbidden. This is in Duelist pack. Yeah, my bad. For everyone who wanted to play Galaxy at Nats, it's not gonna happen. Oh, but yeah, okay. The name of the, the other dude was Kaido. Yeah, I just, I just realized. Uh, thank you, um, Sachimo. Yeah, there you go. Shouts to you. 
Anyways, uh, cool card, uh, super broken, 9 out of 10, or 9.5, and this this card is like a 10 for me, it's a starter. Okay, now we've got Tachyon, Spiral of Destruction. Quickly spell, activate one of these effects, but you can only use each, of, each effect of this card's once per turn. Uh, if you control a Galaxy Xyz monster, destroy all face-up cards your opponent controls whose effects are negated. Way too complicated for no good reason. This reminds me of the Iris Sword Soul, that card's ass cheeks. Target one Tachyon card in your grave, except itself, add it to your hand, this is ass. Or target one dragon number monster in your grave, special summon it in defense. So, all three effects are mediocre. The reason why this card is still, like, a, probably a decent one of is just because it gives you three different options. That's really it. That's the only way I see it. But there are a lot, there, there are not a lot of Tachyon cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, like, whatsoever. I think even the monsters are not Tachyons. You see Swartz, Child, Infinity, something. And then, okay, this is a Tachyon monster. This is a Tachyon monster, alright. Yeah, but this one's, like, an extender. It's not a starter. This one's, like, a kind of, like, a starter, but not really, in a way. This should have been like a Tachyon or Galaxy Monster. Oh my god, imagine! Oh, yo, must have, would have been so nice. Anyways, the final card, no! Lord of the Tachyon Galaxy Normal Trap. You can only activate one card with this card's name once per turn. If you control a Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon Monster, you can activate this card from your hand. I have seen this before with Tachyon Transmigration, I believe. Transmigration, I think that's the, the counter trap card that you can use straight ahead from your hand. Uh, if you control a Galaxy Ice Tachyon Dragon Monster, you can activate this card from your hand. Yeah, it's literally the exact same clause. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, during the battle phase, detach one material from your Galaxy Ice Xyz Monster. If you control a number C monster, this card's activation and effect cannot be negated. Shuffle all all monsters your opponent controls normal or special summon this turn into the deck my issue is that you're using this as an interruption on your opponent's turn not as a board breaker but this is a during the battle phase only card it's a good effect obviously shuffling back everything and it can't be negated if you got a number c monster it's insane to, if you pull it off but it's very easy to play around just by going sp low night banish your tachyon and then you can't use this and then it doesn't do shit, and it's just unrealistic. And also, it's a trap card. It's slow, even if you can use it from the hand, it's not good enough. Uh, this card's like, whatever. Uh, this card's insane, literally cracked. Uh, this card's like, ridiculous. Uh, this card's fine, I still have to see. Hold on a second, are there any Tachyon monsters I am missing? There I have to be, right? Hold on a second. Special summon one Tachyon monster from Redeck or Grave. Bro, I swear to God. Right now, this is the only monster. This is literally the only other Tachyon monster that this card can summon. Oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, you summon this and then you add a Tachyon spell or trap from the deck to the hand. Not a lot of search targets. All of them are like really bad. It's only trap cards. And then this is the only spell and it doesn't do too much. Even the Cloud Dragon is not really a one card starter. So I think... If anything, you don't really want to play a Tachyon deck, you want to play Galaxy Photon, but then you incorporate three of this card in your strategy, and then you call it a day. But then again, the restriction of not being able to summon non-Dragon Xyz monster from the extra deck does hurt a little bit, because again, without Galaxy as Photon Lord, good luck playing around Nibiru. That is honestly the only problem. Everything else is just completely fine. I don't think there's another Dragon Xyz monster that can negate monster effects that would allow you to beat Nibiru, probably not, especially among the rank 8 monsters. Yeah, they're all like board breakers, right? It's 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 not like super toolboxy, so that that's another problem. And yeah, also no access to zombie vampire, not that it really matters. You can still play the Horus engine in Galaxy Photon, no problem. I think that should be doable. No Coach King Giant Trainer, no Felground, but nobody cares about that one. No Dingirsu. Yeah, it, it's not like the end of the world. Mm, it should be fine, but again, you, you play into Nibiru, that's literally the only drawback, otherwise it would have been like an infinite out of 10. If it wasn't for that, holy crap, every single freaking deck would be playing three copies of this, and like another level 8 or light or dark dragon monster. And it's also generic, it doesn't have to be a galaxy monster, but I think Afterglow is the best target for this. It, it just has to be. And then, uh, obviously, like this can search any galaxy or tachyon card from your deck to hand. So yeah, this card gets like a lot of stuff going, but then again, you still should be losing to Nibiru. Unless I'm missing something, you let me know if I am. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know your thoughts about these cards in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Peace.